a beautiful but very cold day here in Pittsburgh. The ground covered in snow and everyone's told us that we can see some amazing views if we go up on the Duquesne Incline. So we're going to go inside and check it out. Since 1877, the Duquesne Incline has been taking passengers up to what is now known as Mount Washington. Boarding an 18 passenger car, we slowly make our way up the nearly 800 foot track, taking in the spectacular views of Pittsburgh's rivers, Heinz Field and the snow below. You're basically 400 foot above the lower station, 1200 foot, I think 1200 foot above sea level. And uh, you got about a 30 degree angle. Uh, the, the incline itself was originally steam operated. Uh, in the early 30s, they changed over to electricity. And there's a wooden gear down, the, down underneath here is what actually runs the incline. It's all wooden teeth to drive it. Yeah. During his 49 years working here at the Duquesne Incline, Clyde Brunk has met tourists from all over the world. On peak days, he says as many as 1,500 people take the ride up. And it's amazing how many people come here. Uh, basically, like I said, for the city itself, it's a real good view of the city. As you can see, you can get out and look at it. You got your three rivers also. You got the Allegheny on your right. Uh, I'm sorry, Monongah Hill on your right. The Allegheny is to your left, which forms the Ohio, which starts down, goes all the way into the uh, Mississippi. Duval! It wasn't long until we ran into some Jaguars fans. It's the atmosphere. It's beautiful. It's not as cold as people think, to be honest with you. What? So, yeah, it's good. I'm Working there with my best friend. We got our layering down. Gloria Chase came with her friend, who happens to be a Steelers fan. The game, we're leaving together regardless of the win or lose. Jaguars are going to win. <laughs> Do well till we die. <laughs> and you'll still be friends. We'll still, we'll be, still friends. be friends. Yes. Yes. Andy Zawatsky and Adam McCahill drove to Pittsburgh from Jacksonville to cheer on the Jags Sunday. Oh man, it's been uh, so many years waiting for this. It's uh, just a dream come true. Uh, Despite temperatures in the teens, uh, McCahill like came wearing out. only a Jags sweatshirt. No coat, no gloves. I'm trying to prepare for the cold, so I, I dress light because we're going to be out there all day for the game. So uh, get a little bit more for the game, but today I'm trying to get used yeah. to the cold a little bit. Yeah is going to be brutally cold out there tomorrow. You know, it was really funny. At one point when we were up there on top of the Duquesne Incline, there were Jag fans outnumbering the Steeler fans. So she's like, what? I'm in Steeler country and there are more Jags fans here. But there are a lot of fans here and really just the excitement, the passion Jaguar fans have. They are ready for tomorrow, ready to win.